So y'all, I have a little update to my cemetery story in Oakwood. So I shot a video and I talked about that I, as we were driving to the cemetery, my mother told me that she talked to my uncle and that this is probably the cemetery where her dad was buried in probably an unmarked grave. I was always told it was a different cemetery. So we walked around here, I walked around, I shot my two videos and we were driving out and mom said, are you, we should still keep looking. So we did and I go, mom goes, I wonder if there's a record. I said, well, I don't know. And you know, this is weird for me because I do, I, I get on websites all the time with cemeteries, but I go, I don't know. So I pulled up find a grave to see if there was any uh, reports of unmarked graves that might have that name. Cause see at the time, my grandpa had left, my grandpa, I'll be, okay, here's the secret. It's a true story. My grandpa left the, the family when he was very young and left my grandmother with five kids to raise back in the uh, time of the Great Depression um, around the 1930s and the 1940s. My grandma Brown was an amazing strong woman who could work just as hard as a man and she raised five kids, which all turned out really good. All of them were married for over 50 plus years, except one uncle. And they were all, but all my uncles and aunts were great. And there's three of them still left. So I'm gonna have to quiz my uncle a little bit more information. So fast forward the story to about the 1950s. Um, mom's dad pretty much died homeless. Just, he just had some issues and he was buried here in Denison by one of the local funeral homes and one of the cemeteries. I always thought it was the other cemetery across town. And so just thought that most of the other families over there. And, um, but I know my dad went to his funeral. My dad wanted to see what he looked like. No one showed and wanted to see him. So my dad went to saw him at the funeral home. Um, as far as I know, dad never came to the cemetery. So, I mean, I got as much information as dad as I could. My mom did not go. As you could tell, they were raised without a dad. So there was some, they just didn't do it. They didn't go. I mean, when your, your dad abandoned you when you're a kid, you, you have some feelings there. But so anyway, I have nothing against grandpa and even my mom. And my mom said, you know, if I could find that grave, I would put a tombstone there. And Holman and Nolan, I get on find a grave as we're pulling out of the cemetery, and I put in his name, and it pulls up his his information and where he was buried. Now, it gave me a map. It didn't tell me where. It just put me in a general area. So I would have to do a little more research probably with this the uh, whoever runs the cemetery or the um, Denison town to find out exactly where. But that would be really cool if you could find it and put, a, uh, put just a little tombstone on it. Because he is still my grandpa and my mom's dad. But anyway, so we, we followed your GPS and it kind of put us in the general area. And wow, I said this third time I've been to the cemetery and not had a clue that my grandpa might be buried here. It's crazy how ancestry theft works. So let me show you the little area that we found. So this is the little area we found. Now these are all unmarked graves. Um, so we don't know where. The GPS led us to right over here against this road, but there really wasn't any unmarked graves. Most of them are over here. So the GPS could be totally off. By the way, I'm a Civil War buff and I found two more. <laughs> huh. I found two more civil, civil cemetery graves here. Yeah. I can't read which division he was in, but sure that's a Civil War soldier. But anyway, it led us to here. And so we're thinking that maybe my grandpa, Ernest Brown, Ernest Lee Brown might be buried here somewhere. If we can only figure out where, and that's going to and tell a little more detail so anyway it brought us up to these areas which are also unmarked 
But see, other people have came back and put tombstones in these unmarked areas. So somewhere right around here in this little area is where my grandpa is buried. We just don't know exactly where. But how cool is that? The things we discover when we're out in the cemetery and it happens to be your own relative. And if my mama hadn't told me that, I forever would have thought he was in the other cemetery in town, like World War II. So anyway, the GPS actually led us to right here. But I don't really see any in marked graves right around this little area. So I don't really know. I'm assuming it just means down this fence row. So I wanted to update the story. And uh, so maybe we can find him. Because, yeah, that would be cool to put a marker there. Because he's still... And, and I love the history of it. And so that would be so cool. So, Mom, you're on camera. But there's a ton of unmarked graves up against that fence. I bet you he's... Your dad somewhere up and down that fence. You didn't have no kind of a marker. Just rock, like a, a stone rock. So we'd probably have to contact um, the city or even the funeral home and see exactly where, because the, they probably have a record somewhere of exactly what coordinates, but we're probably right here where he's at. Even if we come back and just put flowers somewhere over there, well, I wouldn't mind putting a little marker out. That's what I was thinking. That's what I told him. I said that you wouldn't mind to put a little marker out there. So, anyway. So, how cool is that? I thought it was at that other cemetery across town. The fancier one. Show me those. Okay. So. It would be a new What? Be a newer one? Well, 15 years? That's not old. No, no. He was he was buried in 1958 or something. 50-something. I can't look it up until I, uh, while I'm recording the video. But, yeah, he's been gone 50 years. So, to see him down there? Up and down that fence row. And if there's anybody who's watching who knows a little bit more about how to find maybe exactly which one it is, let me know. Um, but yeah. So that was my little update. So we were driving around and I didn't realize that actually he was here. Um, so I will put the dates down in the description of when the dates were and it's at Oakwood Cemetery in Denison so somewhere around here is my mom's dad like I said he kind of abandoned the family when they were younger but let me tell you that tells you a lot about my grandma she was amazing tell us about grandma how she raised five kids by herself well, she was a mighty weak but strong person yeah and she raised five kids, and three of them was boys. And all five of them turned out to be good. None of them ended up in prison. And they made a good living for their family. And all because of what my mother had taught her. Because from, he wasn't her in mother the... mother and dad had taught her. It was a hard life. But she learned a lot, and we learned a lot from her. And we're very proud of her. Did you ever meet your dad, though? I never, never knew my dad. I always dreamed that someday I would get to know him, but he never knew us. The last time he saw us, he said, those aren't my kids, my kids are little. And we had grown. And he didn't, he didn't claim us and he didn't know us. But I think he had some issues, and that, yeah. some mental, well, mental health, it, yeah. health issues that we couldn't but control. we didn't know him, we always thought Someday we'd meet him and he'd be a really nice guy. Now, Dad went to the funeral and went to the funeral home. But, but yeah. we never got to see him. What did Dad say? Did he say anything after he went to see him at the funeral home? He said he was kind of nice looking. That's about it. Yeah. But, of course, he didn't 
he was dead. He just stopped by and they hadn't, uh, I don't know. Anyway. That was a long time ago, though. I think was that, was, that was just right after you were married and you guys have been married over 60 years. So. But mom raised five kids by herself out in the country. In the 1930s and 40s. And she took us to the field with her and she plowed and we hoed and we canned all of our own food and we killed our hog and we made a decent living but we had no car no way of going anywhere except if the school bus would let us ride into town and stay till ball game that night we got to play basketball other and than that were, that's all we got to do and if i remember right you were the star player on the team well i like to think i was and I enjoyed it. They called her Doll Brown. Yeah. She had this long hair that she would hit other the other players with in the face to throw them off their game. That's what I heard. We had a good team. We had good players. And that's all we got to do was play basketball and study or learn some books. Other than that, we didn't really get to go anywhere but but actually, that's where I met my husband. Because he had a car? Well, he had a car. <laughs> that's, that's the laughing joke between me and my friend CJ, is that my mom dated my dad because he had a car. <laughs> well, he came in from from uh, Tishomingo, I think, is where he was at, going to first year of college. And he drove over to see us play basketball. And he stood by the fire. We had a big old fire in the gym. And... Uh, he stood by it till I came out of the dressing room and he started talking to me. That was the first time I ever met him. He went four years of college and I went four years of high school. And then we got married. But, and it's been the blessing. It's been the best thing. You were that married ever about 67 years, something yeah. like that. 60. I know it was 60 and then 60. Maybe it's like 63. Yeah, we, I think he got married in 1955, maybe? We lost him this year, and we still hadn't got over it. Yeah. He was uh, special. Well, he was the, the head of the household, so. But. That's about it. We just, we just live in day by day, hoping that tomorrow will be better. That's true. That's true. And then you always have your good days and your bad days. Right. We all do that, so. But we're just out driving around, and look what we found. We think we found Grandpa's grave, so. At least Mom kind of knows where he's at now. Well, I never got to meet him. I never saw him. He didn't know us. It was like. I, I thought Uncle Lewis said he almost died homeless, like in a. Yeah, he was in very a box, homeless. Homeless and. He had conditions he couldn't help, so I, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. You know, it. it's funny, even though he had conditions and some mental, I would call it mental, they probably call it mental illness now, but I don't know. No one else in our family ever had that problem. But we had no money to help him. I we mean, had no money nobody in him. the whole family. I mean, even now through the grandkids and the great grandkids, and it was just one of those things. But his five kids turned out good thanks to his wife. Merle Brown. Yep, and then all the, most of the grand... We stood by her grave, and us five kids held each other's hands and said, what a blessing that we had, that we had a mother like her. And she raised us, and she loved us, and we're very proud of her. We're, we're very proud of what we went through. Yep. And this is the hardest thing, is losing our husband and our my kid's dad so. but they all loved him to pieces they just thought he was great today is the day when we decided to get out of the house and go do something and shoot some video for my YouTube channel and instead of staying home today Amen. sometimes you gotta get out and just enjoy life and so you have your good days and bad days today me and mom both kind of woke up in a in kind, kind of, of a crazy. The only thing you got to do is get out and go to the cemetery where you don't well, even know. Well, we were going to go to the movie, but we kind of vetoed the movie. And then you said, "What would you like to do?" And I said, "I need to 
shoot some video for my YouTube channel. So we just happened to be driving by and decided to stop. So. Well, I kind of knew where it was at, but I never knew how to get here. So there's some good family I history. I always dreamed that someday I'd get to meet him, but if I do, it'll be in the ever after now. And you know, in the ever after, Mom, um, he may be, be in perfect health and perfect mind, and he'll probably be at the, you might be there going, well, there's my daughter. <laughs> well, he's got five precious kids, I know that. So. And grandkids. Yep. We do. I do have a picture of them. We do have a picture of them. Yeah. Maybe. Uh, maybe I, when I get home, I can shoot a add a little video at the end of the picture of them. But I don't know. We'll see if I can remember that. Well, I will say one thing. Mom never said nothing bad about him, one way or the other. Well, that's good. She just said the past is in the past, and I'm just trying to raise you kids the best I can. And. Thank God she did a very good job. Yep. Well, no one of us finished college. I played basketball. Martha played basketball. Lewis played basketball and Leon. But you know, we would never made it through school if it hadn't been for basketball. Well, that's probably true. That's the only thing we got to do. And uh, we didn't do anything <laughs> that would keep us from playing basketball because we wouldn't got to do nothing if we if we I hadn't. tried it once but it wasn't my cup of tea. <laughs> well you were too busy with nine hundred other things and that's the way you are today. That's true. All right, well I guess we'll wrap up this video. Anything else you want to say, Mom? No. Except I love you and I'm very proud of you. Oh thank you. And my other children. Yep. All right. And I'm glad we found Dad. Yep. This'll it, probably be on YouTube, so kind of gives a closure you mean grandpa, grandpa. yeah i yeah. never knew him but well, i've always wanted to know where he's at yeah. and i've had you know like my friend cj he kept saying you need to find it you need to find it who who would have thought i would we would just ran across it because they put him in a better place than i thought they would have so that's great yep we hadn't really found him yet but we got in the general location yep yep he's here somewhere so that's cool. Maybe we'll bring some flowers out and lay it somewhere. All right. Well, I'm going to. All right. Well, I'm going to close up this video. I hope you enjoyed that. We shared a little bit of our family history with you. And uh, yeah, it's getting hot. I need to turn the air back on. I turned it down so she could hear better. And uh, so I hope you all have a great day. Stay cool. And I will keep you updated. We find out where it's at or anything. The exact location. So, toodaloo. Have a great one. Bye.